How are you today? Today, well, <laughs> I got a few things to talk about. Uh, I got a couple of whips. No, I got a couple of FOs, <laughs> finished objects. Uh, and I got a couple of things to show you. And I thought I'd do a little health update. How about that? Is that good? Okay. Can you believe I'm wearing a sweater? Yeah. This is a sweater that I hold very dear to my heart. Um, my friend Petra from Petra's Happy Place. Um, she doesn't do many videos anymore. Uh, she's taking some personal time. <clears throat> she's got a lot going on. And uh, she's, she's starting to do a few videos again now but um she made me this sweater uh two years ago has it been that long already two it was before covid it, yeah it's been a long time anyways it's very well loved very well worn um and it's so cozy so this is like my my petra hug sweater <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so I, I'm wearing this today I, I'm wearing a tank top underneath it but uh it's sunny it's clear out but it's windy it's really windy and it's so it fall is definitely upon us uh so yeah so I'm starting to wear my sweaters <laughs> Funny thing is, is I, I make all these sweaters, but I don't make any for myself. I've got a, excuse me, a couple that I tried to make for myself, but I never wear them. I'm, I make them for everybody else. So I like it when somebody makes me something because <laughs> then I wear them. Weirdest thing. Anyway. Okay. What should we start with? Um, actually, let's start with this. I may had a, a me. I did an order, a small, small order from Hirschner's a little while back because I needed to get my momenti yarn. That whole fiasco. Um, but this is something that has gone in my cart and out of my cart and in my cart and out of my cart and so on and so on for a long time, uh, I, that I've been wanting to try and just never did because I was really worried that it was going to be like super saver. I, eh, you know how some of those yarns on Hirschner's look, they're great price. So you're going, well, if they're that good of a price, they're probably like super saver. Uh, and I'm pleasantly surprised when I find out that, no, they're not. <laughs> this is one of those yarns. So I may end up having to go and get more. Um, the ball, the skein is a little smaller than I was expecting, but that's okay. And this is the Hirschner, Hirschner's Wasted, wow, Worsted, <laughs> Worsted Yarn Holiday Edition. Sorry, I've got a ring light now. I'm, I'm getting used to this ring light, guys. So, yeah. And I got this green color. Now, it's not as green. It's like that. It's not, not like that. It's like, it's like that. Um, and this color, of course, I didn't bring my glasses in. This color is, oh, wow. That is like really, can you see that? No, probably not. Does that say fern? Pine, pine. Oh, <laughs> my eyes are getting bad. Uh, this does come in a, in a few different colors. It's not the softest yarn on the planet, but it is nice. 
it's um I don't even know what I could compare it to yeah well mm, I was gonna say I could kind of yeah I can compare it to the mainstay um, it's kind of close to mainstay so yeah and it's really 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 inexpensive I can't remember exactly what the price is but it's um it's really inexpensive so I'm gonna have to go and get some more I don't know why I picked this color though because this is not a color I normally gravitate to but uh, I'm sure I can find something to do with it. Christmassy. Speaking of Christmas, oh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about Christmas yet. There's so many things that go along with Christmas for me. Um, <clears throat> I am getting amped up for Christmas already. <sighs> Kicking and screaming, I might add. Um, I, as if you've been around for a little while, you know that I'm going, I am starting to send, um, products down to the States, uh, to Pennsylvania to a shop that is down there. Um, she's carrying my jewelry that I've been doing. Uh, and this winter starting in October, I'm going to start sending her wearables and um, novelty items and stuff like that that I make. I'm a little nervous about that. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. So I asked her, you know, what do you want me? God, I look like a hot mess today, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, like, what do you want me to send? So she gave me a couple of ideas. She's interested in my sweaters, but we're kind of worried about the shipping. Um, so I may end up having to make lighter sweaters. I don't know. We'll see. Ugh. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I had this idea. This epiphany. So I started. I took like a couple of ideas and kind of made it my own. So, all right, so here's the first one. <laughs> the boot cuffs. So it's, uh, this part of it will be in the boot and then this part will be showing. I don't have a boot to show you. Um, so yeah, I, I want to wash these and see if I can get these to kind of calm down a little bit, like get them a little flatter. Um, the yarn I used, what did I use? Bernat Premium, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so I started using that. Oh, I think, I think this one is from Michael's. It's the Crafter's Crafter, crafters, not crafters secret, wrong. Um, craft smart or whatever it is. <clears throat> so I made those. Oh, Bailey's barking at something. These ones I did, these were the first ones I did. I'm not too fond of them because you can't see the, um, the points very good but then again this is going to be hidden in the boot so it might be okay so yeah um so i made those holy hannah okay somebody's obviously here hold on sorry about that it was the mailman <laughs> Okay, so I made those. 
These ones I think are my favorite. I haven't got the bells on them yet, but um, just try. there. So once I get the bells on them, I think these are going to be my favorite ones. So I hate putting the bells on, I have found out. So I'm going to make a few pairs and then I'm going to hire my sister to put the bells on. <laughs> Because it's tedious. <laughs> so um, I will probably be doing a tutorial on this closer to Christmas. And uh, yeah, so I did that. And then I did a couple pairs of, um, I just finished a tutorial on these. Uh, it should be underneath my in my playlist under tutorials and it's also in the 12 project be the be beautiful 12 project collab that I'm doing with Jeanette at Miss Hoot 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 Wow okay so this is the leg warmers this is the I think this is the set that I did on video or was it? I think it was. Um, yes, it was. And then I did this set. Ugh. As well. So, I started doing those. So, on the video, I was saying, um, if you wanted to taper them to your calf, uh, then they kind of, oops, they kind of look oops, like that. So they're a little tapered. And then I said, if you have um, a thicker calf, then you don't taper them. So that's the difference between the two. Okay. So I made those. I'm going to be making some more. I'm running out of room. Oh. Okay, now th this, I had this idea, um, I, I, yeah, George and I are Game of Thrones people, and the new Game of Thrones uh, came out about the Targaryens, the Targaryens, that is called House of the Dragon. So I thought, wow, now would be the perfect time to reintroduce myself to the dragon scale stitch um or the alligator stitch if you want to call it that um i hated doing this stitch when i first introduced myself to it and now that i've been crocheting for a while i kind of thought i'm gonna try it again and i did and i watched a bag a day pattern um, I will leave that link down below and she made it so easy like I was just like why was I having problems with this before you know so um, yeah so this is the cowl that Crystal made my scales are um, kind of off to the side weird <clears throat> mine don't lay as flat as hers but I think it's because of the yarn I used um, so yeah oh. so that's what it looks like I like it um, but it's, it was, it was a lot of fun to do. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to do. So I did that. And then I thought, I'm going to make fingerless gloves to go with it. <laughs> so I did. Okay. Now the yarn I used is the new, um, Colorama Halo. And it didn't occur to me at that moment that I was doing these that 
the color changes were long, right? So <clears throat> on this, you get the first color, the first brown color, right? Because I was thinking that the color change would be grad, uh, like um, not quite so gradual. So I thought it would be like dark, then medium, then light. No. All the dark went on the cowl. <laughs> and then I did these and some of the dark was on here. Then it started going lighter and lighter. And yeah. So. Yeah. <clears throat> but I guess that's okay. <laughs> so those are the fingerless gloves. They are very nice and warm. So I'm a little OCD when it comes to color and color changes. Um, this transition here will drive me crazy. So I have to just not look at that. So I've got the dragon scales on the bottom and on the top. So yeah, so this is the set. Uh, whether or not I'm going to make another set of those, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Okay, so that's all my makes. Um, I, I, I've talked oops, quite a bit about the fact that I'm making jewelry and stuff. But what I haven't talked about is that I am kind of trying to get back to my roots in the sense of my spirituality. Um, I, I'm a very spiritual person and so crystals are a big part of me. So I started collecting crystals again and I'm starting to put them on, um, the fireplace mantle. Uh, I've also started collecting other things, um, and making like win, um, window sun catchers and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know if it's something that you guys would be interested in seeing when I get stuff in. <clears throat> Let me know down below uh, if you want to see the crystals that I've brought in and whatnot. Um, something I did bring in, though, that I thought you guys might be interested in are pens. Like writing pens. <clears throat> um, these have crystals in them. Let's see if I can get one out. Oh, hopefully I can... I don't have it. Okay. So this is like a pen and I don't know if you can see. I'll put a picture in, but oh, that ring light is probably not. Hang on. Let's see if that makes a difference. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they are Uh, little crystals that are inside there and they're they're all different so that one shows up a bit better um let's see if that one gonna focus so anyways um they, there's quartz crystal in here, there's amethyst in here, there's, um, 
rose quartz. Um, it's different type, different crystals in different pens. <laughs> be something that you guys might be interested in uh, I, I'm thinking about putting them on my Etsy um, and see how it goes if you are interested in stuff like this to put up on I'm debate oh, okay I'm debating whether or not to oh, try to put that back in the bag and it's not working here's another one Um, so I'm debating whether or not to make a second Etsy page for crystal stuff. I want to bring in, uh, various different things that I think you guys might be interested in. So like the pens and, and all that kind of stuff. So let me know your thoughts. If you are a crystal person and you like that kind of stuff, then um, I would really, I guess I'll turn this back on. I would really like to know about it. Oh, that's bad. Oh, like I said, I'm trying, still trying to get used to this ring light. Um, yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are. <clears throat> it's something I'm thinking about venturing into. It's been a long time since I've dealt with my crystals and, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about making that a, a new shop for me. Uh, it will, <clears throat> it will probably include jewelry that I make, uh, with the crystals, with different crystals and stuff like that. So tell me what you guys think. Um, health up update. I'm still going strong on the carnivore <laughs> front, sort of. Um, there are a couple of things that I, that I do that are not carnivore, but it's not really bad stuff. Um, like in my coffee, I've got sweetener. It's not carnivore, right? Uh, actually, that's not all the time. I actually gave up sweetener, uh, but I started using hazelnut coffee mate, which I found out has sugar in it. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's my little indulgence in the morning that I do. <clears throat> But for the most part, I think I'm doing okay. Um, George is just plugging along. He's he's loving this way of eating. I'm I waver when I do eat something I'm not supposed to. Boy, my body reacts to it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if I told you guys about it, but I bought. I think I did. I bought some blueberries and I ate some of those. And when I eat something that I shouldn't, I get cramps and pains in my stomach. And then my body goes out. It comes. It's like, nope, you're getting that stuff out. Um, so it's really keeping me on track. So <clears throat> that's good, I guess but I'm trying to find different things to make me a little more excited about what I'm eating. I do crave steak a lot. Um, so 
the trouble I'm having is when I started this and when I was on metformin, um, I dropped the 10 pounds like quick. My AC1 went down. I was like, yay me. Then I went off the metformin thinking I was smarter than everybody else. Uh, I did it more out of anger than anything else because my doctor never talked to me about diet options before he put me on the pills. <clears throat> and now I haven't dropped any more weight. My A1C is still where it's supposed to be, where, where it's at. Uh, I haven't gone up at all, but I'm staying the same so I'm frustrated confused because on all the carnivore sites the Facebook sites that I'm on and the videos I watch people are all talking about how they're dropping weight like crazy and their A1C is really is really down to normal now and they're getting off all these pills and they've gotten off all their um, acid reflux pills and everything. I did get off the one acid reflux pill, but I'm still on my Nexium. I accidentally forgot to take my Nexium one day and I didn't have the real reaction that I normally would where I'm almost in the hospital, but I did get at some acid reflux and it was uncomfortable but it wasn't horrendous. Um, but it freaked me out because I'm when I get that feeling, then I'm going, oh, I'm going to have a bad night. So I took my Nexium right away. And I've been taking the apple cider vinegar and water. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be helping that. It's supposed to help my acid reflux. And it's I don't think it's helping. So whether or not I'm ever going to get off my acid reflux pills, I don't know. Um, so yesterday I was sitting there in a bit of a funk <clears throat> and I started thinking maybe I should go back on my metformin. I don't want to. Um... But I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I'm really, I'm on the fence and I'm frustrated. And when I get frustrated, then I start, I do something extreme. So I'm wondering if this is an extreme reaction that I'm doing. Uh, I haven't quite made the decision yet. I've got, on this side, I've got my one of my angels saying go back on your metformin because it it will help on this side i'm going metformin's poison and you don't need it you can do this with diet well it's been a couple of months on carnivore and <clears throat> george is doing great i'm not seeing the results that i want i am losing inches i'm not losing weight which you know, a lot of people say, don't even look at the scale, but I do. Um, <clears throat> and George actually came up behind me one day and he goes, you're getting like some shaping going on there. And I'm like, yeah, but then I turn around and it's like, I got my stomach. I don't have as much of a stomach, but I still got my stomach. Um, I am noticing, I must have lost some some inches in my arms because my bat wings oh they're bad I it's embarrassing so I'm thinking should I start you know weight doing some weights or something I, like I'm just I'm a mess guys I just I don't even know what to do <sighs> so I'm I gotta get on doing that Facebook group for, for my Yarnabies, <clears throat> for the ones that are keto, carnivore, Atkins, 
whatever you guys are doing. Uh, I got to get on making that group because then we can chat in the group and share recipes and stuff like that. Uh, I've just got so much on the go. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's what's happening with me and my health. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I am just like <laughs> crazy, crazy. Um, hmm. yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll think of something else, I'm sure. And then I'll come back on another video and go, Hey, <laughs> I forgot to talk about this. <clears throat> Looking around. Hmm. I am working on my movie marquee blanket. Yes, I'm making a blanket. Uh, and I'm loving it. I'm I'm really enjoying it. I forgot what doing the Jacob's Ladder is like. And I'm going, I'm enjoying this. And now I've got to try and make time to make like stuff like this. And doing the movie marquee. Because I haven't done a blanket in long time and I'm I know it's gonna take me a long time to do this one because it's you know takes some time with this so I got to make sure that I plan out my timing um, but yeah anyways guys I'm gonna go cuz uh, this is a bit of a long one and I will talk to you guys later I love you all mwah, 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 mwah. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.